545. Good evening, America. It is now <laughs> May the 11th. Okay. May the 11th, 2017, approximately 5 o'clock p.m. 545. Oh, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot going on. This one just long time. Uh, had another addition to the family. Had another a lot going kid, on. Man. Yeah, a lot going on, definitely. Thank God. My wife had another kid. I didn't have a kid. Are those tan are those tan lines? It's sexy, ain't it? He has tan lines. He has tan is that both of your arms? It is. I keep my sleeves rolled up so when I'm working the sun hits me and it just He yeah. has tan lines. I, what? Yeah, that's what happened. What what countries are you representing? Like it's two stripes. <laughs> Finally got a flag on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Finally got a flag. America. Oh beautiful. Oh. You're not going. Okay. All right. Well, forget that. We're not going to do that. But anyway, yeah. Constitution, <laughs> Madam Bill of Rights. Yes, uh, and the American flag. You know what? Speaking of the Constitution. Uh -oh. We have someone that loves the Constitution who we actually took the liberty to go out of our way to uh, get someone to be with us today for, for a short period of time who just absolutely loves the Constitution. Uh, I didn't even know who she was. Like, Well, anyway, many of you probably didn't know who she was and probably still won't know who she is after this video and probably don't even care. But today we have with us the uh, representative 43rd of the 43rd Congressional District, District of California. You all know who, who she is. She's also an um, advocate for, um, I guess you could say, impeachment of Donald the Trump. impeachment <laughs> of Donald J. Trump. She's kind of leading that movement the, uh, into the uh, uh, Russian scandal. Yeah, so. Many of you know her uh, of, of those things, amongst those things, and we're gonna have her with us. So, ain't no drag. Papa's got a brand new bag. Oh, uh, uh, hello. Was that it's, James Brown? Hello. It's, uh, yes. Is this thing yes, on? Yes, Mrs. Waters. It's, it's on. Oh, we can, okay. We can hear you. Uh, Go ahead. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. But well, first off, I would like to say that uh, I'm having a bad hair day. My hairdresser has not gotten here yet. Um, I, I, we have to make this quick because I have a meeting down in Washington, D.C. I'll be on your edge of the woods, so I, I, we have to make this quick. My hairdresser has to get here. I have to have my nails done, uh, amongst other things, so. Miss Waters of the 43rd uh, Congressional District in uh, California. Great to have you with us today. We appreciate you um, being here and everything that you do. Now, first off, we... Do we really? <laughs> first thing we want to ask, uh, we, you're looking good there. Um, we're not too concerned about your hair and everything you got going on there. Um, James sure. Brown look. Yeah, we, we just wanted to, to um, ask you, uh, you, we know you have a lot going on, especially with the battle, uh, the battle that you got going on there. Uh, we just wanted to pretty much ask, how do you feel about being such an um, iconic, I guess, a figure right now in politics, especially to the youth, you know, come out, youth, yeah, yeah, come out a lot in uh, the media lately. So we just pretty much wanted to figure out how you, uh, how you, you know, view that, and you're actually looking a lot more uh, muscular, uh, yeah, and, and personal on, than you on usually on, would on uh, on CNN or on any of those other fake news. Oh uh, yes, what a uh, yes, what a lot of people uh, don't realize is I, I work out quite a bit, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, but yes, the millennials and such, uh, the youth, I think that is refreshing for them to see a, uh, a politician who, uh, who is just really comfortable with being uh, him or herself, uh, such as myself, and for me to, you know, come out and just be uh, as crucial on the matters of Donald Trump, which I must say I am so disappointed that too. Young African American males would support this uh, this sexist, uh, 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 this sexist bigoted. Uh, uh, what's 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 the other word? Uh, what's the other word that the, the the teens are using these days? What's the what's the other word? 
Oh, the, yeah, this is the home, the homo, the homo, homophobe that, yes, mm -hmm. it's just a shame that you would support him. Let me say that. Also, I think that it's refreshing for them to see me, especially in my district, being myself. And I must say, I, I, I think that they can look at me and, and see that they can connect with me. Because as you can see, <laughs> my lip gloss be popping. <laughs> yes, and, and glistening in too. So I think it's, it's refreshing for them to see a politician who they can relate to on so many different levels. Lip gloss might be popping, but your tan lines ain't like these. <laughs> well, I mean, not to be, not to, you know, any disrespect to you, um, Miss Wallace, but uh, being an uh, Obama funky as you are, we're not really Trump funky, so not to get confused uh, the support as to being just, you know, whatever Trump does, we're 100% behind it, you know, so, uh, you know, we're critical where it, where it counts, but as far as the media and how they portray him, you know, we tend to not bash as much because that's already been taken care of. Uh, but anyway, uh, we appreciate that. That's a pretty good outlook, I guess, on um, the youth and how they portray you today for those that actually know who you are. Um, but anyway, uh, quickly, we, we know you don't have much time, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get our last question out of the way. Um, yes, <laughs> this is uh, dealing with the fight that you have going on in Washington with uh, Trump and his collusion with the, you know, uh, Russia, the, the Kremlin or Putin or... All things Russian. Uh, we just want to pretty much know exactly, because I don't watch uh, mainstream media, too, you know, so much. So I don't really hear everything that goes on. So I wonder if there's anything, you know, me and my brother are missing uh, concerning, probably. like proof or any evidence that has come out that we probably miss, you know, that mm -hmm. that you have come across. I mean, we just want to know the truth. If there's some evidence, we would like to know. No. Uh, proof or uh, evidence? Um, yeah, proof or evidence of Trump's, you know, collusion. Would be Russia. nice. Maxine Waters, everybody. Uh, <laughs> of course, she had to get out of here because she's a um, busy woman, but um, we appreciate her coming in today to talk all things Russia with us, with all the information that she was so endowed in and had for us today, we thank her for sharing with us. Um, and we hope that everyone who watches this is informed on the Russian collusion and how it makes sense that uh, Trump has his ties, whether it's him uh, urinating on the, um, Russian women or vice versa or whatever's going on there. Uh, we. You know, how, how that all just makes sense and the proof and evidence that's been shown today <laughs> should be enough to uh, impeach him. Oh, correct. <laughs> right. So, uh. <laughs> Maxine. <laughs> I didn't even know who she was. Like, seriously. I did not know who Maxine Waters was until, like... <laughs> Now, yeah, it, it, that's that's all you need to know. That's all we all need to know, right? Well, well that's that's all you need to know. The fight is on against uh, Donald J. Trump in uh, all over the U.S. on East Coast, West Coast, all over, and even definitely in Washington. So, Maxine Waters isn't the only one, but uh, <laughs> all I got to say is, pray for the man and continue to fight for the Constitution. <laughs> With these. With these. So that hopefully, probably, we never have to use these. Peace.